Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is just a quick video today. This is why I won't call it breaking news, but I've been sent some images of a chap called uh, Rick um, uh, Tidoy. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right. Sorry, mate. And it's basically more images of the new Death Guard models, which are coming with the season three Space Marine Heroes. For those of you who don't know, Space Marine Heroes is basically um, a collection of Space Marines. Um, um, each season is different. Season one was Ultramarine, season two was Blood Angels Terminators, and season three is actually Chaos. They're doing Chaos, and it looks to be full-on Death Guard models. As you can see in the background now, one of these models is a new Plague Bearer champion again. I'm sorry if, I, if I'm getting these names wrong. There, I'm, I'm not too familiar with chaos, but these models are different. What what Space Marine Heroes does is that they take your factions, let's say the you know the the general Space Marines or the Terminators, and they give them really really cool awesome poses. This is why I had my fingers crossed that one of the Space Marine Heroes would actually be like a Primaris guy because at the moment Primaris really lack character-esque models and as you can tell from this model now like the the, the poses and the design are, are just better than anything i personally think that is currently in the line they just completely blow you away of, of how cool and awesome they look now the images are from this book you're seeing in the background and um, again i have no idea what it means and um, I, I don't know how to translate this if anyone can translate this i don't know if it is like they, they're basically a version of white dwarf if anyone is over in the asian market who wants to go and get their hands on this then you are definitely going to see some big big glimpses of the new space marine line you can see that the book has images like of, of again this plague bearer but this one has a different helmet one of the most interesting things about this book because um, Rick was the one who linked me the images. They're not actually his images. These are just the images that have been put online at the moment. Is that most of the book has been blurred out. So I'm wondering if they're basically teasing. Or the, whoever's got the book is basically teasing um, these models. And they're, they're just blanking out or blurring some of the main stuff. Like maybe prices, release dates, all that kind of stuff. This image makes it a bit more clearer when we actually come to look at stuff that's been blurred out. First things first, the model is absolutely fantastic. Like I said, it's got those epic kind of character poses, a little nurgling at the bottom. I don't know if he's like eating his own sick or eating like the sauce that's coming out of that gun, but it's, it's absolutely fantastic, awesome looking model. Now, if you put your eyes to the top left and the bottom right, and also the top, the, the actual top right as well, is that... Um, you can see some blurring now the top left one i don't know if that is a blurring of this image's artwork it kind of looks like it's got that stance maybe it's kind of a a hq model that they don't really want to spoil to the bottom right of the image it looks like there's a sprue that's been blurred out as well so again maybe this is a new character they don't want to spoil and all that kind of stuff whatever it is these are online now, and I'm sure within the coming weeks, we will be seeing the full-on versions of all these new Nurgle stuff um, popping up online, and you guys are going to be getting the full glimpse of Space Marine Season 3, because apparently the magazine that we discussed before is out now to buy. So if you're in the market, if you are over there, then you're probably going to be going down to your local shop and picking it up. All right, Chaperunios, that is me done for another video. Like I said, this is just only a smaller update. Just want to bring it to your attention for you Death Guard players, for you Chaos players, maybe something to think about adding to your collection. What normally happens with the Space Marine series is that they release in the Japan slash Asia market first, and like a year down the line, they come over to the European and North American markets. If you're lucky enough to have a friend over in those markets, then just get them to pick it up for you. You pay for it and pay the shipping and stuff like that. And you'll be able to get your hands on them and all that kind of stuff. There's no rules as far as I'm aware that's in the box. I got Space Marine Hero 1 and Hero 2. Um, of course, it was all from Japan, so I can't really read the rules that much. Um, but it's basically just cool-looking models you assemble. And it adds some cool characters to your army. That's basically it. Right, that is me done. Enough yapping for me. Hope you've enjoyed the images. I'll see you all very, very soon. See you now and bye-bye.